In this video, we're going to be talking about what a weighted average is. In most cases, your context for average has been with the mean, maybe within science or within other contexts of you finding um, what the average or the closest to middle number or value would be from a set of numbers. Maybe it'd be years, uh, distances, something along those lines. But you're trying to find what the more or less the middle of that range would be. So you've heard the word mean before. What you might think of this is as is as a weighted mean. So from now on, I'm going to be using the context of weighted mean. So let's get to an example. In most cases, most teachers will use a weighted average or weighted mean within how they score for an entire class, especially since if uh, when points are the main reason for a grade. So in this context, let's say the teacher used for tests that tests are going to be worth 80% of the student's grade. Okay, now usually you have homework as well. So let's say homework would be 10% of the student's grade. And then let's say participation is a big key. So maybe that last 10% goes there. So you can see overall it's worth 100%. But each one of these scores, and granted you have more than one test, you have more than one homework assignment, and you probably have more days of participation than just one. So you have to find the individual averages of each of those parts first, which is what you've been used to, as say finding the average test score or finding the average homework score. Um, but now each of these are given a different value system. So as you can see in this case, tests have a lot more weight or a lot more priority um, within the overall average than the other two do, being that they're given 80%. So let's say 92 is your average for tests. You've done pretty well on tests. In your homework, eh, let's say you slacked a little bit and you have a 79% or 79 as far as your average score for your homework assignments. And for participation, you've been doing really well in, in your participation, but you missed a few days, and so you're only at an 84%. All right, so to take this, I'm going to take each one of these and solve them on their own and then add them together. So to find the total of 100%, I have to have 100%. And since each one of these is a percent that adds up to 100, I just find the individual scores and then add them together for my overall weighted average for that class. So let's do that. So as you can see that I've written out here, we have each of the different values. 80% times 92, 10% times 79, and 10% times 84. All you have to do now is plug it into a calculator and solve, and you'll get your answer. So go ahead and try doing that. So after you've done your calculations, you should see that for your tests, you have a weighted score of 73.6 points or percent and for homework you have 7.9 points or percent and for participation you have 8.4 so all we have to do now is add them together and if you've done your calculations correct you should see that we have a score of 89.9 or 89 and 9 tenths that would be your score for the class or that would be your percentage for the class depending on how the average versus were found here in the green. So we're going to be doing some more examples of this in class. If you have any questions, please make sure you write them down before you come to class tomorrow.